we know tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. Call this tan a as x, tan b as y. So, I have the formula x plus y by 1 minus x y. Bring tan to the other side. It is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y. What is a plus b? a is tan inverse x and b is tan inverse y and that is the formula stated here and many of the exercise problems are based on this formula. The same thing if minus comes minus in the numerator plus in the denominator. So tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus x y and tan inverse x minus tan inverse y will be tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus x y. Learn the formula to be thorough with so that we can fight with exercise problems in an easy manner. Exercise 4.4 .4, question number 2 subsection 1. Show that 2 tan inverse x equals sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. Let us start from RHS. Always start from the side that is difficult. Sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square. LHS tells me it is tan inverse. So, wherever x is coming, put tan a. So, RHS becomes sin inverse 2 x tan a by 1 plus tan square a. Now, let us recall the formula 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square a is nothing but sin 2a. So, I can write it as sin 2a. Sin inverse and sin will get cancelled giving us only 2a. What is a actually from here? x is equal to tan a tells me if I want only a, bring tan to the left. It will be read as tan inverse x. The right side tan goes to the left as tan inverse x. So, wherever a comes, I can put tan inverse x. So, 2a becomes 2 tan inverse x and that is the LHS. We started from RHS, arrived at LHS. Second question, second subsection, we need to prove the result. Start from LHS. It is tan inverse 4 by 3 minus tan inverse 1 by 7. To remember... Let us recall this tan A minus B formula. Tan A minus tan B by 1 plus tan A tan B. Applying in inverse functions. Let us remember the formula. Tan inverse X minus tan inverse Y is tan inverse. For here tan A I put X, tan B I put Y. So X minus Y by 1 plus X Y. Applying the formula here. Wherever x is coming, I have to put 4 by 3. Wherever y is coming, I have to put 1 by 7. Substituting tan inverse x minus tan inverse y formula. Tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus xy. Tan inverse 4 by 3 minus 1 by 7 by 1 plus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7. Taking LCM, it is 21 cross multiply 28 minus 3. Denominator also 21 is the LCM cross multiply. So, it is 1 plus 21 in the denominator, 4 in the numerator. Now, tan inverse 28 minus 3, I will write 25 by 21. Denominator 21 plus 4 by 21. Denominator being the same, we can cancel. I get 
tan inverse 25 by 25 cancel this also it is 1 remember the formula tan 45 is 1 or tan pi by 4 is 1 so pi by 4 i will write tan inverse 1 so in the place of tan inverse 1 we will put pi by 4 and that is the rhs Question number 3 show that tan inverse half plus tan inverse 2 by 11 equals tan inverse 3 by 4. Let us remember the formula tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. In this question x is 1 by 2 and y is 2 by 11. Substitute tan inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 by 11 by 1 minus 1 by 2 into 2 by 11. That is tan inverse taking LCM 22 cross multiply 11 plus 4. Denominator 1 minus 2 by 22 taking LCM tan inverse 15 by 22 by Cross multiplying 22 minus 2 by 22. 22 the denominator being the same we can cancel. We are left with tan inverse 15 by 20. Cancel 5 table 3 times 4 times. It is tan inverse 3 by 4 and that is the RHS. So we just use tan inverse x plus tan inverse y formula which is tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. Just a mere substitution and simplification proves LHS equals to RHS. Question number 8. Prove that tan inverse m by n minus tan inverse m minus n by m plus n equals pi by 4. Again we use the formula tan inverse x minus tan inverse y equals tan inverse x minus y by 1 plus xy. In this problem, x is m by n and y is m minus n by m plus n. As we substitute, LHS equals tan inverse m by n minus tan inverse m minus n by m plus n. Applying in the formula tan inverse x minus y m by n minus m minus n by m plus n divided by 1 plus x into y x is m by n y is m minus n by m plus n. A casual problem like the previous one but we have to be careful in multiplying. Cross multiply m into m plus n minus n into m minus n divided by n into m plus n. This is numerator divided by cross multiply 1 into n m plus n. So n into m plus n plus m into m minus n divided by the denominator n into m plus n. Denominator being the same, we can cancel. We are left with tan inverse. The numerator as we multiply m into m, m square, m into n, m n, minus n into m, n m, minus into minus plus n square. Denominator n into m n m n into n n square m into m m square m into n minus symbol minus m n m n m n cancels down also m n m n cancels we are left with 
tan inverse the numerator m square plus n square the denominator also m square plus m square are they one and the same we can cancel so i am left with tan inverse 1 Whenever tan inverse 1 comes, we can put pi by 4 as discussed earlier. Pi by 4 is the RHS and hence the problem. Question number 4. Solve. Tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x equals to pi by 4. Notice the question. So long we were doing prove that. Prove that, show that problems. We start from LHS, arrive at RHS. But this is a question of solving. Solving tells me find what is X. The unknown I have to find out. So in such problems, keep LHS, RHS in every line. You will get an equation. Solve that equation and get what is X. So let me start. Given tan inverse 2x plus tan inverse 3x equals pi by 4. Applying in the formula x is 2x and y is 3x. So LHS becomes tan inverse x plus y 2x plus 3x by 1 minus x into y 2x into 3x equals to pi by 4. This tan inverse, let me bring to the other side. 2x plus 3x will become 5x by 1 minus 2x into 3x. 6x square equals to tan inverse goes to the other side as tan. And tan pi by 4, I know the value is 1. Cross multiply. 5x equals this into 1. So, 1 into 1 minus 6x square into 1. Bringing all the terms to the same side. 6x square plus 5x minus 1 equals to 0. The minus term goes as plus. Plus 1 goes as minus. Now, we need to solve it. For solving 6 into minus 1, I can write minus 6. I need 5. 6 ones are, shall we write? Here I want plus symbol. So this is plus and this is minus. First term 6x square tells me divide by 6x. Here I can cancel. I am left with x plus 1 into 6x minus 1. x plus no number tells me 1. So x plus 1, 6x minus 1, 0. Or x is equal to minus 1, 6x equals to 1. Or x is equal to 1 by 6. So what are the two answers that I get? Solve tells me find the value of x. It is minus 1 and 1 by 6 and that is the answer. Question number 5. Sol tan inverse x plus 1 plus tan inverse x minus 1 equals tan inverse 4 by 7. It is the same as the previous problem and the most important 5 mark question. Tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. What is the formula? Tan inverse x plus y by 1 minus xy. In this question, x is x plus 1 and y is x minus 1. Solve tells me find what is x. So, when solve problems, we will write the given question as it is. We don't start from LHS all that. Take the question as it is. Now, apply the formula. Tan inverse. X plus y. Add the 2. X plus 1 plus x minus 1. By 
1 minus x into y x plus 1 into x minus 1 equals tan inverse 4 by 7. Here tan inverse, here tan inverse will get cancelled. We are left with LHS plus 1 minus 1 cancels 2x by 1 minus this is a plus b into a minus b which is a square minus b square. Since we cancel tan inverse I am left with 4 by 7. You can cancel 1 2 here 2 times. Now this is x by 1. Take the minus sign in minus x square minus of minus is plus 1 equals to 2 by 7 or x by 1 plus 1 2 minus x square equals 2 by 7. We can cross multiply to simplify the answer. 7 into x 7x 2 into 2 4 2 into x square 2x square bringing all the terms to the same side 2x square plus 7x minus 4 equal to 0 solving 2 into minus 4 I get minus 8 and I want 7 what are the two numbers 8 ones are I want plus 7. So, this is plus and this is minus. First term is 2x. Divide by 2x for both the terms. I can cancel. It becomes 4 times. How will I read it? x plus 4. First term. And 2x minus 1. The second factor equal to 0. x is equal to minus 4 or 2x equals 1. x is equal to 1 by 2. So, the answer, the question is solve. I must find out x values. So, the answer is minus 4 and 1 by 2. Repeat the problem once or twice and be thorough with the method. These are simplest as well as easy problems. Question number 10 express in the simplest form. Tan inverse cos x by 1 minus sin x. Minus pi by 2 less than x less than 3 pi by 2. Where is x actually? This is 0. Minus pi by 2 tells me come in clockwise direction. So this is minus pi by 2. And we go on up to a round back to 3 pi by 2. So that tells me it is the full circle. All the four quadrants taken into account. Now coming back to the question. Let us start working. The question is tan inverse will take at the end. Let me take cos x by 1 minus sin x. Whenever sine cos 1, the three terms are coming. You must remember, cos can be written as cos square minus sine square. 1 can be written as cos square plus sine square. Sine 2a can be written as 2 sine a cos a. Applying these formula here, instead of 2a, I have x. So, wherever a is coming, I will write x by 2. So, in this question, 2a equal to x tells me a equal to x by 2. Substituting here, 1 can be written as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 minus sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. We just substitute in the formula. Wherever 2a comes, x is coming. So, wherever a is coming, I have to put x by 2. So, all the RHS we have substituted here. Now, the numerator is a square minus b square model. How will you simplify? a plus b into a minus b. Cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. 
the denominator a square plus b square minus 2ab can be written as cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 the whole square. This is a minus b the whole square. Now this term and the square will get cancelled. I am left with cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2. My question is related to tan. So what we do divide by cos x by 2. So the next step every term we divide by cos x by 2. Cos x by 2 by cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 by cos x by 2. Denominator cos x by 2 by cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 by cos x by 2. So all the terms we have divided by cos x by 2. This becomes 1 plus tan x by 2. Denominator 1 minus tan x by 2. We can remember this formula tan a plus b because tan inverse is coming. I want to reduce as some tan formula. So remember tan a plus b equals tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b. Just compare this and this. I want to write this in terms of this. So wherever 1 is coming, I can put tan 45 if needed. Remember in the same question, here in the place of 1, we put cos square a plus sin square a pattern. Here I am going to put 1 as tan 45, a most challenging question we are doing. So we are thinking all possible ways of simplifying the answer. Now tan a. So I can put tan 45 for 1. So this is tan 45 plus tan x by 2 right as it is. Denominator I want 1 only. So this one right as it is. Here tan x by 2 is there. If I put tan 45, it is not altered because tan 45 is 1. So, this becomes tan 45 plus x by 2 formula. Now, we shall write the question. What is the question? Tan inverse cos x by 1 minus sin x. That is tan inverse. This term only we reduce to this pattern. So tan inverse tan 45 plus x by 2. Tan and tan inverse cancels. I am left with 45 degrees plus x by 2. But my question they have asked in radians. So instead of 45 degrees let me write pi by 4 plus x by 2 and that is the answer.